Hello fellow van lifers. I know it's been a good minute since the last video I made and I've been kind of really busy. But I wanted to upload another video to the channel to kind of keep it alive. But uh, I'm still sitting in the, the, I'm calling it the spirit Avenger to keep along with the whole Avenger thing I seem to be going with on, on these van flips. So I wanted to do a quick video, keep the channel alive, but also no, note that maybe I'll do another tour video in a little bit here. Uh, I've done basically a, a no build van build on a cargo van, which isn't what I was intending to do. Uh, I wanted to actually build it out and go that, do all that. But right now I'm still what I consider doing a uh, uh, collecting the materials phase. And like I said, I'm doing it on a budget. I'm doing it for free. I'm doing it for whatever I find on the side of the road. So, and anything I can fix and flip and use that cash to upgrade. So there have been some upgrades. I found some stuff along the side of the road. I fix it up, sell it, and use that money to buy a solar panel. So I have a solar panel on the roof connected to my Eco Power uh, battery supply. I'll show that in a second. Um, it's just kind of down here in the corner right now. I got things very crudely wired up and just testing them out. Not really, this is not so much the setup at the moment. But uh, what I'm powering right now is only just these little fans up here in the corners. I got two USB fans running through it right now. And uh, they're just kind of there to help kind of keep air circulating. They, I think they pull maybe four amps in total. Or, yeah. Amps? Amps? My brain's farting today. Anyway, watts. Sorry, pull four watts total. So it's not really hurting anything. Um, I, especially since the it's a I think a hundred watt uh, solar panel I got on there right now. So it's just charging my little uh, power station here. It keeps it full. The four the little four watts that these fans are pulling doesn't do nothing. I can run lights off it, which I have this little strip of LED lights that are running across the top. And since it's daytime, I can't really run them to show you what I'm talking about. And I kind of just use like these little, uh, let me show them. Uh, where is it? These little push button magnetic battery operated lights for when I need light inside here for now. Rechargeable batteries. So if I need to recharge anything, I just recharge them on that. So that's kind of cool. So I'm. That's kind of what I'm doing is right now I'm working on just collecting materials before I do the full build. I found myself a nice pillow top Serta mattress. You know, so, <laughs> I play with puppets. But I have a pillow top Serta mattress that's a, I think, full or queen size. And it pretty much takes up the whole back, which is the thing that's stalling my build. I found it. It was in mint, perfect condition. It even smells good. No stains. I'm like... I couldn't pass this up. It was free. So I went and picked it up, slapped it in the van, and it's like very comfortable. You can sleep two or more people on it easily, but it does not leave a lot of room. So this is one of my greatest challenges right now on this build. It takes up so much room. Pause. <laughs> so I had to pause it there. A big old truck came through and created a lot of noise. So it, as I was saying, so I got this big old sort of mattress. It's more mattress than I really need in this thing, but it's so comfortable. I'm really debating switching out. Like I had these little two like crib mattresses that I had put together, children's mattresses. They worked, but they kind of slide apart and they're not as comfortable. They feel like you're uh, laying on a diaper. They're all crinkly. Not as fun, but they take up much less space and they're able to be tucked away or folded up and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of like, I kind of like this mattress. I kind of like the options of having a mattress strong enough for more than just one body, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. And since it only leaves like this little tiny walkway, which right now I've even got the power system in and all that. It doesn't leave a lot of room for me to build on uh, as far as cabinetry and... Uh, I'm even kind of worried about once I start adding the insulation and winterizing this thing, how much more space I'm going to lose. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm sitting on this build and not really knowing where I'm going with it yet. Uh, as I collect the materials, I'm collecting wood, uh, anything I can use to build with. So it's kind of like 
stalling this channel out right now because uh, I do want to insulate. Got to winterize this thing. It's not quite winterized. I already know it's going to get cold in here. It's, I mean, at least I got some nice blankets and stuff like that, but I don't know if I like the idea of camping out in this thing with no insulation. Um, it might be a rough winter. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. But in the meantime, I've been kind of building, I don't know if you see right here, I'll do a full, a, a better tour video when I'm ready to do a tour video. It might even be the next video, a tour of my no build. <laughs> Again, I got the mattress supported on crates, just like I did in the last uh, minivan. Only used more crates this time, bigger mattress. But uh, I'm building this kind of cool little, I'm using this closet uh, shelving. I found that. I cut it down to size, which is really cool, really easy to cut with a Dremel tool. And I have it right now just zip tied just to test it out to see if it works. Uh, the idea of it works anyway. So I have it kind of sitting there. The whole plan is to kind of have it be able to flip up and tuck away. So far the test on it works, but it takes exactly the remaining space. But it does create a shelf. So maybe I could put like a laptop on it when I need or maybe some cookware, things like that. Um, I kind of like the idea of the laptop being up there so I can you know, kick back, watch some movies, something like that. I found a, in the back, it's way back there, but I found a monitor. Perfectly good working condition monitor on the side of the road. Someone threw it away, but it's a commute, it's a computer monitor, which, you know, that works out for the laptop. And it's not a TV, so it doesn't have like all the cool like little features of smart TVs or any of that kind of stuff. So no Netflix or anything like that. It's going to have to go through the laptop. Well, I got plenty of movies on the laptop to hang, hang with, you know, so keep, keep you entertained through the winter. You know, so that's kind of where I'm going with that. This is kind of a mess in here right now because I've moved in a lot of stuff and I'm building around it. One of my big concerns with this build right now is the flooring in the back is kind of rusted over. So I want to grind that down and instead of letting that like rust build up, I want to kind of grind it down, paint it over and that kind of thing. And that's where I'm at with a lot of that. Um, sorry, I got some flies buzzing on me. Yeah. I'd like to collect one of those like magic mesh that curtains, you know, it's where you have a uh, the magnetic strip on the mesh so it like shuts on its own and keeps all the bugs out. I gotta get a couple of those. Uh, I got my little curtains up here tucked away. They're gonna go over my windows, but they're not exactly cut to size just yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of just like in this testing what I like phase on a, on this build, positioning things where I want. Like I said, I'm sitting in my second row seating right now kept the bench I kind of like that as a maybe eating office area hangout area since I've got it plus it's good for traveling with companions and all that probably gonna put the kitchen where these coolers are in the corner so that's kind of where I'm going with that uh, maybe like a build a shelf over there for a stove on that side use a fridge cooler on the bottom for like you know storing your food your cold stuff there's plenty of room there for that and it doesn't really take away too much from the bench area. So, you know, I will be doing a full van build eventually. And that's probably where the most of the content of this channel is going to come from. So stay tuned for that. Again, this is just kind of my quick video update, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where I'm thinking of going with things on this build. And I don't have a timeline on this. This is a build as you go kind of thing. Kind of taking the advice of some of the pro van lifers out there. And just getting in it, living with it, feeling it out, see what works, what doesn't work, and where you put things and where you want things. Uh, you can't really see it from this angle, but in the far back, I still have another like foot or two of space, which I'm calling like the garage area right now. But since I got the crates underneath the bed, I've got plenty of storage. And each crate to me kind of acts like a, a room in a house. Like I got a crate for my toiletries and bathroom products. I got a crate for uh, like my clothing and a couple crates for that. I got uh, a couple crates for my garage items, such as like my tools, my power tools, and another crate for my car tools, you know, mechanic tools. So under the bed is kind of where everything stores. I would eventually, I think, if I kept this mattress, build some shelving or cabinetry maybe up here, even though this is my only real walkway. That's the only down 
pitfall I'm having right now is I don't got anywhere to really walk, get dressed or anything like that. You got to just hang out in this hangout area in order to do most of your, you know, getting clothes on and whatnot. So I don't know. But yeah, there's also the whole front cab area that has a lot of space that I can store stuff, which I guess if I'm putting the fridge or whatever on the wall and I got this big open area in the middle, I like to film. So I'm kind of turning this whole area into my like film studio. Just forgive the mess. This big open space where I put the tripods and all that kind of fun stuff. I, I don't know. I do have a curtain that goes across this the support beam, which I should have put up, but I wanted to kind of have the lighting in here for this video. I said I had to get up mighty early this morning in order to have an opportunity to film this. Life has been very busy lately with the acting and just working and keeping the bills paid. So I'm not exactly uh, right on top of the build for this channel. And it's kind of upsetting me. I, I'd like to continue working on this. But um, as you can see, there is solar technology Jeez, somewhere on this roof. Yep, solar panels. I'm not making it up. I've really been in a, a collect all the materials phase. I was lucky to stumble across, and I kid you not, uh, behind a dumpster, someone had gotten rid of a whole uh, bunch of brand new uh, flooring material. Not the wood, but the cushioning and the, the, the stuff that uh, insulates insulation uh, for moisture and all that kind of stuff. So I have part of what I need to build a floor, uh, a floor, but I don't have the wood for the floor just yet. I've collected some wood paneling, but I don't kind of like the wood I found. It's, uh, it's, it's just uh, like a cheap wood paneling that it's all flaky and whatnot. Uh, it needs... It's not like a good material to work with, I think, for my paneling anyway. Uh, it's good to build off of, maybe for flooring, I don't know, but it's not really good for the design. So it's kind of holding me up. I don't have enough of the wood that I want to work with yet. Do I really need any wood? I'm kind of digging the crates. I was going to put this whole bedding on a frame. I might still, or I might just keep running the crates. One thing I'd like to do is... If I did away with the crates, I kind of want to have some kind of system that I can just like lift this mattress easier, like, like just a hinge system or something, so I can lift it. I mean, it's it's kind of, it's kind of heavy, not too heavy, but it can be an in inconvenience to get to certain things. So I would like to find maybe a way to do that, or like one of those cool big pull-out drawers. You've seen those. Uh, again, this channel is not trying to cover just build projects and stuff like that. I won't. Let me retrace, retract that. This channel is about the builds, but I'm trying to do it in a way that's different from all the other channels out there. There's plenty of those out there. There's plenty of people who have some really incredible builds. The purpose of my channel is trying to do it as cheap and as free and as treasure hunting as possible. Uh, that's just the challenge for me. That, that's what I enjoy doing. That's what I enjoy working with is found materials spending nothing <laughs> I'm cheap but I'm cheap because I, I like the challenge so there's that anyway thank you for watching I am gonna do a better tour video on my very next video um, so stay tuned for that